entertainers in the building there. Yeah. It's called right already, the show goes on all night. Till uh. the morning we dream so long. Anybody ever wonder when they will see the thunder? Just remember when it comes to the show. Anniversary, Phil. You. Uh, my name is Anthony Tran. I'm a student at uh, University of Pennsylvania, and I saw you talk the other day, and uh, it was just a lot of fun to see you um, give a little spiel about what you do and about your site, about your blog. I've been an avid reader for I'm not sure how many years now, ever since probably like freshman year of high school, and I'm a sophomore in college now, so it's been a while. And you know, I just want to say congratulations for the year, 10 successful years. And here's to many more years to come with you updating all of us about the latest Asian American news, um, pop culture, and things like that. So here's to you. Happy anniversary. Phil, how's it going, man? This is Derek Chu uh, from the University of Pennsylvania. Loved your show. It's fantastic. Loved your blog. Been reading it since I was. for a couple of years, I think. It's a pretty long time, man. 10 years is a really long time. Awesome. Awesome, awesome. Really impressed, dude. Fantastic. Uh, 10 years ago, I was like, that's so crazy. This is beautiful what you're doing, connecting us to the, you know, the Asian world. It's fantastic. So, congratulations again. Keep doing what you're doing. I hope to all of us. Love you, man. If Angry Asian Man could be an animal, what would he be? We spent some time thinking about this, and I think that Angry Asian Man would be a meerkat. When there's trouble in the wild, the meerkat is able to signal to his other friends when there's something wrong. And I think when in the community, Angry Asian Man serves as kind of a organizing point. So um, even though it risks the danger of making itself known and making itself, the issues in the community known, um, Angry Asian Man the, and your blog uh, has the ability to kind of organize the community and really inform your readers about what's happening. What'd you think of the event at Penn? Wasn't it great? Yeah, I really liked it. Um, awesome. I thought it was very informative, and I think a lot of people loved the event. Um, angrier than they came in, and, like being uh, very enthusiastic and, and thinking a lot about like Asian American issues. So hopefully that like more was for Asian Americans. I like the blog. Um, it's one of the first things I read in the morning. You know, look at my news, my my times, and then look up. Know what's happening on the Asian interest world. Um, you know, I like following your tweets, your tweets and whatnot, which is pretty cool. So it's you know, a good way to keep myself updated. Awesome, guys. Any last things y'all want to say? <laughs> uh, hi, I'm Andrew. I'm Sean. We're trying to commemorate Phil's 10 year anniversary here of his blog. So, what do you guys think? It's a really great blog. Like, it's really entertaining and it also keeps you up to date. Like, it's. I like how he covers everything about Asian Americans. The good, the bad, the ugly. Um, it covers topics of like the media, the news, um, entertainment, and even like, when there's a missing persons report, it's it's like, even it's on Angry Asian Man. Like I don't know how he gets all this information, but it's really impressive. Sean, I love it. I read every morning on the coffee toast. It's amazing. Not it's not a blogger isn't exactly a conventional kind of. Uh, Career, so he's done a really good job. Uh, he's done a great job. Any last words? <laughs> <laughs> Happy 10th anniversary, Phil.